Yeah, and that is because there is only so much parking out here at the Cap Capitol Federal Sports Complex for the second straight year now. People are going to be leaving a little disappointed. Um, those will only be able to see these fireworks that here's the first ones of that you're seeing right now here live on Fox 4. Inside Liberty Fest, there was plenty for families to eat and do. While kids played in the bubbles and bounce houses and crowds enjoyed the music, outside on 210 Highway, car after car was turned away. Pulled up here, the guy said, you got to pay to park. We said, well, how much? He's like, well, you got to order it online. The Liberty Chamber of Commerce says it had the same situation last year, with all of its 1,000 parking spaces filled two and a half hours before the fireworks. And so for us, it, it was important that we changed something. So we thought, let's do the parking pass, and that way if you have a pass, you know you have a parking spot. Um, but by the time it was said and done today, we had sold um, almost all of those parking spaces completely. A steady line of people were picking up those passes today for $10 each at the Chamber of Commerce. A lot easier to get in this year. But many people who showed up to the Liberty Fest had no idea. Some without the pass found parking along the railroad tracks where they hope to still see the fireworks. Many remained at their cars for fears of being ticketed or towed. Sad about what they were missing out on. Oh, it's being with the crowd. It's like the, you know, the festivities. We're missing out on everything. Um, I know that there's music going on there. There's the beer garden and we were all ready for that. And we're missing out on that because we're stuck watching cars. Now we're stuck <laughs> drinking water. Unfortunately, some people will be disappointed, but it's a learning lesson and we'll move forward from there. Now I did ask about a shuttle and organizers said there really isn't anywhere convenient that wouldn't lead to long wait times when these fireworks end. As for the cost, they say they'll use the $10,000 raised tonight to invest in next year's fireworks. And again, so unfortunately for those of you that weren't able to get out here or just at home and take a couple of uh, seconds here and admire the ones that are going off now. Guys.